Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents. But note, this is Common Core and can be used for any Algebra 2 course in any college or high school anywhere in the United States or anywhere in the world. Function Transformation Basics. Concept number seven, a times f of x. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. If I could stick every student with a boost containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness of their inner mathematical genius, I definitely would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to get your healthy dose by ordering and purchasing the complete cram session or just the function transformation basics. You have lots of friends, classmates, pairs, or even colleagues who may be taking Algebra 2 with you as well. Tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that I can give them an extra kick with this wonderful information. You'll be glad you spread the word because they'll make great study buddies. Transformations. Basics. Describe what happens to the graph of y equals f of x when it is multiplied by a leading coefficient a, that is y equals a times f of x. And for argument's sake, let's say that a has a value of 2 in this example. So definitely press pause if you need to and take your time to come up with an exact description of what happens to the graph of y equals f of x. All right, so the graph um, of f of x is basically going to experience a dilation by a factor of a, okay? And in this case, our a was equivalent to two. But um, there are some caveats for the value of a. As you can see, uh, the magnitude of the absolute value of a has to be greater than one. It can't be a fraction like one half, okay? And in order to experience an upright dilation, the sign on A has to be positive. And so two fits both of these guidelines, all right? If the factor or leading coefficient was something like one half, a fraction, or a decimal less than one, you would experience a compression or shrinkage, and that's a whole nother story. And notice that A is not negative, okay? The magnitude is greater than one, but it's not negative. Let's say that A was negative, or the magnitude of A was greater than one, but overall it was negative or less than zero. What you would experience is a dilation, but also a flip about the x-axis as I demonstrated to you in the previous cram session, okay? All right, so that's about it for this. Good luck studying. Don't be shy. Definitely come back again and again. Reach out to me to let me know what topics you need, and good luck studying.